Shoot the Fahadans here for an episode that updates all the information from some previous episode. It's just little bits and pieces, so subjects are different. Uh, you might remember my Koa versus Elmos Cope comparison video, right? And then that after that, I posted a Koa 16H, 8Z, and BNH comparison as well. All of that goes to say that I was wrong in my Koa versus Elmos Cope video. After posting that video, I got feedback from a lot of people on Facebook and in the messages saying that their Elmos were much better than other Koas they tried. So I went on a road of experimenting with various Elmos and Koas to see what would happen. After several months, multiple Koas and Elmos later, I think it's safe to say that these are all the same lenses. So putting it in all the words, the Elmoscope 2, Koa 16H, Koa 8Z, and Koa b &H have all the same glass. They have some cosmetic differences between them, the bodies are different, but deep inside or outside, they're all the same glass. The reason for all the differences between them in performance is sample variance. It's basically this Koa has been sitting on the shelf for 10 years and nobody messed with it, while this one has been kicking around and being dropped on the ground. So you might have one that's better than the other. Plus, you have to take into account if one of them has been serviced properly or not. Before anyone starts pointing out that they are different and there's this and there's that, there are, yes, there are possible differences, which are the coatings, which can be either purple, bluish, and golden, uh, which affects the flares and that depends on the year that the lens was made. And the other thing that I noticed is that the Koa 16H and the Koa 8Z can go a hair wider than the BNH and the Elmoscope 2. And you can see that for yourself in the Koa 16H comparison video. Now that this information is out there, it has been out there for a while if you've been on Facebook. Uh, grab your Elmos while they last, while they're a little cheaper because the sellers tend to match with the highest prices and that is the Koa B&H for years of misinformation, myself included. So I apologize, but this is as much as I can do. Level the playing field. This also means that every mod in my Koa Mods playlist is applicable to any of these lenses as well as the Elmoscope and a few other lenses that share the same building structure. The second part of this video is about an update for the anamorphic calculator. Since the GH5 came out, people have been going crazy about it and ever since the firmware update came out, things have been insane in the anamorphic community. So I reached out to some people that use that camera and we figured out the math and the rules and I updated the calculator. So you can go on the blog, the link is in the description and check it out for yourself. Again, the calculator is a tool aimed to give you an approximation of a result, if it's gonna vignette or not, field of view and all those things. But it's not absolutely scientific. It's not gonna be right 100% of times. There are way too many lenses out there for me to be able to compile a tool that works for every single possible combination of them. That being said, it's one of my most accessed tools with very little negative feedback. It works so well that people are going to the extent of copying the code and using it on their website without giving me credits. And after that, I added a line to the calculator where you can just copy the tag and post it on your website and you can have full access to it and it gives me the proper credits, which is the only thing that I want in exchange for it. So it doesn't take much. Uh, anyway, go play with it, go try to break it and let me know what you think. I'll be back next week with some more serious business and in the meantime, you can try to break the calculator, find some exceptions, leave a comment below if you do so. And also feel free to leave a comment if you feel strongly about what I said regarding the Koas and Elmos. If you absolutely love this channel, be sure to subscribe and click the like button. If you want more, go on my Patreon page and make a pledge so you can get early access to some features and things that are in the works and also support my work. I'm Chutu Fahadangs and I'll see you next week.